Zigbee is a wireless technology that lets smart home devices talk to each other without using the internet. Home Assistant can use a Zigbee coordinator to control and automate smart home devices. But first you'll need Home Assistant installed and running. I have mine installed on a Raspberry Pi. And then you'll also need a Zigbee coordinator plugged in. I'm gonna be plugging in my Zigbee adapter, which also functions as a coordinator into Power Over Ethernet. You'll need to know the IP address of your Zigbee coordinator once it's plugged in. You can find this in your router settings under your list of connected devices. You might have a different Zigbee coordinator, but the steps to set it up in Home Assistant are the same. To set up Zigbee support in Home Assistant, there's two ways to do this in a way that's not locked into a specific manufacturer. You can use Zigbee Home Automation. It's directly integrated into Home Assistant and it's a teeny bit faster to set up. And Zigbee to MQTT. We'll be using Zigbee to MQTT because there's more support for more devices. Let's get started in Home Assistant. Since we're using Zigbee to MQTT, we'll need to make sure that we can use the MQTT add-on. So under settings, go to add-ons. And if you don't already have Mosquito Broker running, go to the add-on store and look for the open source MQTT broker. You'll want to install and start that add-on. Now that it's installed, we'll start the add-on. Next, let's install the Zigbee 2 MQTT community add-on. So again, under settings and add-ons. Under the add-on store, the, this add-on isn't one of the officially supported ones. So we're going to go to the three dots and go to repositories. And we'll add using this GitHub link. I'll drop a link in the description below. We'll add it from GitHub. Now that you've added this add-on to the add-on store, you can search for it and we'll be looking at the Zigbee 2 MQTT add-on. And we'll install and start this add-on too. Now that we've installed it, we'll wanna make sure we configure um, the Zigbee 2 MQTT add-on. So what you'll need is the port um, using the IP address of your Zigbee coordinator that you got off of your router settings. Um, with the 6638 port. So you'll want to put that configuration detail under serial. And then under info, um, I'm going to start the watchdog, but now we'll start that add-on. Okay, we set up the MQTT broker in Home Assistant, and we also set up the Zigbee 2 MQTT community add-on. Next, it's time to pair our Zigbee devices. Depending on the devices that you have, this step is going to be different. I have a Xiaomi button that I would like to press to turn on a group of lights in my garage. So let's open our web UI and hit permit join. So for the next four minutes, I'll be able to pair any devices. This particular device, oops, I just pressed it. This particular device has a teeny tiny little hole on the back that I need to press, but again, your device is gonna be different. So I'm going to press the button down and see if it shows up. If you have trouble pairing your devices, um, make sure your Zigbee coordinator is centrally positioned and not too close to some of the other electronics that are around. There can be some interference. Um, the coordinator that I'm using, let me press it again. The coordinator that I'm using, uh, you can get a USB extension cord to place it further away from your electronics. There it goes. This is how you can control and automate Zigbee devices in Home Assistant. Let me know what you want to learn next. 